Hi, Alessia here. So today Webflow launched the slot feature for components, which means you can add components inside of predefined slot within a component. In this video, I'm going to cover the new feature of component slots. But first, let's take a step back. The concept of slots is not a new one in web development. It was first introduced by the web component specification back in 2018. So now in Webflow, with the component props and the component slots, we're getting closer to development standards. So how does the new feature work? Let's dig in. You can start by creating your component. Let's take a card element as an example. Looking at the designs, you might realize that the card has different design variation and elements inside of it. Previously, you might have set up the elements with different visibility settings to hide and show the different layouts or create different components altogether. And this is where slots come into play. Now, once you have created the component, you have access to a new element called slots. These are predefined areas where you can insert various components. Let's create a slot for the upper and lower card element, which will allow you to add content to the top and bottom of the card. One important limitation with slots is that only a component can be placed inside of a slot. So if you want to insert a thumbnail image to your card, you will first have to turn that image into a component before inserting it into the slot. You can create all different types of components to cover all the variation of the card designs. We have tags, images, buttons, info blocks, and as you design, you can fill those slots with one or multiple components to create all the variations of the card as needed. Another thing that slots will allow you to do is create layout components. Here, I created a section component, which has the section and the global wrapper. Now, you might have noticed that I added the class of wrapper directly to the slot element. This is because slots are divs themselves. So to create a layout component such as grid or flex, you will have to add the class directly to the slot. Once you have done this, you will be able to add as many components as you want to one slot. This also means that clients or less technical people can drag and drop predefined components to build pages without the risk of editing classes, layouts, or the components themselves. Because once the component is in a slot, you will only be able to populate their props, but you won't be able to edit the component. In order to edit the components, you will have to temporarily place it on the page, or you could have a draft page containing all of the component library, which you can then edit. Other current limitations regarding components is that you cannot place a slot within collection lists, links, rich text, forms, lists, local lists, and search. But I do think that with the ever-evolving components, we're entering a whole new realm of possibilities and frameworks within Webflow. And I'm super excited to keep exploring the best way to structure websites with components and slots to make it super easy for developers and clients to maintain their sites. So subscribe to follow me on my journey and see you next time.